Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made my Dollar Tree gift station. Now you'll see that you can also use this as a stocking holder, but I wanted to make things a little bit different. Anyway, before we get into the video, I do wanna ask that you please subscribe to this channel if you like the content, hit that notification bell so that you know every time that I post a new video, and like up this video so that I know that you wanna see more of these DIYs and it really helps my channel out and I really, really appreciate it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm using this string art from Dollar Tree. Now I'm just going to cut the string off with some scissors and then I'm gonna use some side cutters to remove the small nails. Now normally you would use pliers, but these are an old pair of side cutters, so I really didn't mind using them. And you're just gonna pull upward so that you don't split the wood. Once everything is removed, I ended up using 100% acetone to remove all of the writing and everything came right off. I will tell you the green arrow was the one that removed the best and you'll see that later on because the one that I write on is actually a red arrow and you can see right through it. So once everything is removed, I did treat this as real wood, so I gave it a wood stain. You can also use a shoe polish if you want the same look, or watered down paint, or just paint it a regular color. It's totally up to you. Once it was fully covered, I let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then I wiped it down with a clean napkin. If you want it darker, you can repeat this process, but since this isn't real wood, you don't want it to sit for too long. So here's where you'll see where the different arrows definitely affect the outcome because this is the red arrow and you can see right through it. To decorate, I use this acrylic paint pen which I purchased at Walmart and I've used for other tutorials and I just wrote out naughty or nice with a little checkbox. I'll probably be doing a tutorial on how to transfer images onto these pieces of wood, but I wanted to keep this as simple as possible by just using regular handwriting. Then I just wrote out my husband's name and the bottom, making sure that I keep it as centered as possible. And towards the end, you can see that I kind of start to go off to the side, but that's totally okay. I set this aside to dry, and then I went in with this multi-surface paint in Patina, which is a color I've used before in other tutorials, and I checked off the nice box. Now I'm gonna use my Dollar Tree Santa plush and I'm just going to position him where I want and secure him in place using hot glue. We're keeping this as simple as possible. So now I'm just going to press him down and make sure that he is staying in place, which thankfully he is. Now I'm gonna move on to my basket. I used this Dollar Tree basket and gave it a coat of Krylon's Blue Ocean Breeze. Once it was fully dry, I placed some E6000 on one side of the rim. I don't recommend that you use nails or thumbtacks for this because you don't wanna split the wood. You can use command hooks, but I just didn't wanna ruin the look. So I went with just E6000 and pressing it up against the wood itself and I let it dry overnight. The next day, I hung it up using command strips and added my gifts, and it was done. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching. Till next time.